Hello, this is JW Greenbaum bringing you Gaining an Edge, the show where we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. So underneath the camera today, we have another fixed blade. Yep, second one in two days. And that is the Civivi Mini Elementum Fixed Blade. So this is a knife that I got with really, really high expectations. It didn't quite meet those expectations because it was kind of something that I... Well, I didn't really quite expect it to be this small, but it does have a lot of cool uses. And I will delve into that in a moment. But first, I'd like to take some measurements of this knife, because I think this has a lot of good points, a lot of mixed points, and, well, not really very much bad, just mixed and good. So, first off, let's take this out of the sheath. And, uh, again, and uh, we can see here that we have... Ooh, just over two sharpened inches of blade. And if you're measuring from this grip panel here, um, uh, to you're at two and a quarter. Now our overall length is going to be almost exactly five inches. So not a big knife in the least. Now, let us of course get our scale out and this thing Honestly, if this weighs an ounce, it, it, it's like that light. So let's see. Yeah, 0 0.725 ounces. And with the sheath on, uh, probably going to be like just over an ounce. Let's see. Uh, yep, 1.115 ounces. So very, very light knife. Now, this was designed as a neck knife, but it can also be carried as a pocket knife. And just to show you uh, how, well, here's our Kaiser Knives Denim Knife Roll, and we are going to do a pocket test on this, because obviously we don't do that very often for a fixed blade, but as you can see here, yeah, this is actually very pocketable. This is absolutely something that you can put in your pocket and use as a pocket knife, even though it is a fixed blade. Obviously, you've got a lanyard loop right there. You don't have a pocket clip on this thing, but I'm sure you could find a way to add one. And just generally, this is not very big. It's very, very thin uh, in your pocket, and I will get to that in a moment because, of course, I am going to get out my size comparison knives. And a bit unusually, I'm actually going to compare them to this with uh, this, well, yeah, I'm going to compare it, do the size comparison with the sheath on. You'll see why. So here is an Ontario Knives Wrap Model 1, and you can see that it is much thinner than a, than a Wrap Model 1, even with the sheath. Uh, here is our Ontario Knives Wrap Model 2. Again, it is dwarfed by the Wrap Model 2, even with the sheath. Next is going to be our Token Spider Co. Paramilitary 2. This one is in CPMM4 with the, uh, oh, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the, I think, camo carbon scales on it, or maybe it's uh, jungle wear. I, I don't remember. But uh, it's in M4. It was a Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive. Um, uh, next is going to be our token large EDC knife, which is our Cold Steel Recon 1. Again, that dwarfs it. Um, and then, are, of course, going to be the two new kids on the block. First, the really interesting one, which is the O-Knife Night Claw. And you can see here that the Night Claw is basically as tall at the tallest point as the sheath. So, actually pretty interesting. And finally, we have everybody's favorite toenail clipper, the Kershaw Platform, also dwarfing this little mini element and fixed blade. So again, this for a fixed blade is super duper pocketable. Now let's take it back out. As we can see here, uh, like the full size elementum and quite frankly, just about every model of elementum, except for the, uh, uh, the mini elementum folder, uh, you have a hollow grind on this thing. So it's going to slice really well. It's also super duper thin behind the edge. And our blade steel, and of course it's one piece, so really all of our steel is going to be Nitro V. So good steel. Um, these grip panel inserts 
are micarta. I believe you can get uh, some other materials. I believe uh, G10 and wood, of all things. So there you are. And it is actually rather ergonomic for what it is. I mean, yeah, it's a three-finger knife, but it really does work. It's a very, very cool little knife. Now, if they had made this just a little bit bigger, in my opinion, and they had made it like the size of the, um, the Civivi Circulus, which is their larger neck knife, I think this would have been a lot more compelling, particularly with these grip panels, allowing for a much more ergonomic grip than you get on the Circulus. Also, you have a better blade steel. I mean, this is Nitro V, and the Circulus is 9CR18 MOV. So, and by the way, the Circulus is also, I believe it's two, three dollars more than this. Because another thing about this is this, this is only $49.75. It's not a particularly expensive knife. It's, honestly, I believe that's the least expensive Nitro V knife that I can think of. So, hey, that's pretty good. Um... I just wish they had made it maybe 50% larger because if they had done that and then slapped a $60 price tag on this thing, I would be recommending this to just about everyone. Or if they had made this maybe the size of a uh, an ordinary Civivi Elementum, again, I'd be recommending this to everyone. It is a great little knife. I just wish they had made it a tiny little bit bigger. So let's see how it slices with that out of the way. The answer is it slices very well, but uh, obviously I need to show you that. So let's, uh, let's get slicing. As we can see, very, very clean cuts right there. Super duper thin behind the edge. And, oh yeah, okay. that. This works in a couple of different grips, by the way. You can also just go like this. You want to do a bit more control, and it works just fine. Just it like that. Okay. And as you can see, it's perfectly fine. So let's get out our packing peanut, and, uh, well, let's uh, slice that as well. And it just fractured right along there, but uh, uh, let's, let's have some fun with it. Okay, now that was perfectly clean. Oh yeah. Anyway, so this is a great little knife. I think this is a spectacular backup especially if you're in an area where maybe you want to carry um, a fixed blade for something and you just think, but, you know, your folder is your primary choice or alternately, let's say you're carrying a slip joint and maybe, you know, you encounter something that is a little bit worrisome for a slip joint. This would be a great thing to have just as a backup because it's not going to fold up on you. It is 50 bucks. It's Nitro V. It's just very hard for you to go wrong with this thing. And it's got good ergonomics for what it is. I mean, I really wish that they'd just made it a tiny little bit longer, like maybe out to there. But otherwise, I, I really think this is fine. It's a great little knife. Great little backup. I absolutely do recommend this thing, especially if there is any sort of a blade limit or a size limit where you are. And maybe you want to carry a... Uh, a fixed blade in your pocket, and you absolutely can with this knife. It, it or maybe you just want a good neck knife. It, it works either way. It's a really, really cool little knife, and I really, I, I, I can't find very much bad to say about this. I mean, for the for, for what you're getting, it's terrific. So, fifty bucks, I absolutely recommend it. So this has been JW Green Map, making brought to you gaining an edge. The show where we discuss, review, examine, look back upon, and generally enjoy knives. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you could also hit the subscribe button, please do so. I will have a giveaway of a Spyderco Military Two and a uh, Rosecraft Bla Bla bleh, Rosecraft Blades Little Riverbend Skinner very soon because that was my promise for five hundred subs. And also, um, you know, just stay tuned.
plenty more where this came from. So this is JW Greenbaum signing off and wishing you a great day.